When Yad Lachim asked me to talk about this incredible initiative that they have launched um, and to be party to it, I was very, very excited. I should explain perhaps that my connection to Yad Lachim goes back uh, an embarrassingly long time. In fact, I think I've been associated with this fabulous organization for, uh, well, since I was about 15. And I remember when my father passed away on Purim morning when I was 18, as part of the, my inheritance from my, my, my father was a gold watch. It was a gold pocket watch, uh, the one, the type that you wear in a, in a, a man wears in his vest with a gold chain and a gold medal. And the truth was, I was never going to wear that. I was never going to really use that. And I thought it would be a pity if this gold watch just sat in a drawer or sat in the display cabinet. It did nothing. I had a better idea. I thought it'd be a wonderful idea, the links in this chain um, of this gold watch, uh, to link to my very, very favorite organization, which was Yad Lachim. At that time, Yad Lachim was very busy battling Christian missionaries who were flooding the land of Israel, finding very poor Jews. Jews had just arrived from Arab countries. Um, this was in the 70s and using money to buy them and corrupt them and seduce them into leaving behind 2,000 years of tradition, 2,000 years of Yadut, of our Torah. And the Yad Lachim fought against these people. And I thought, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing that if I could take this watch, sell that solid gold watch with a solid gold chain and a solid gold medallion, and use that money to link Jews together uh, who were being lost otherwise and disconnected by the wicked work of these missionaries. And so my connection to Yad Lachim goes way back. So at that time they were uh, reconnecting, they were unifying. Uh, since then they've moved into a whole new area and that is they're going to villages, Arab villages, where Jewish women have been um, kidnapped, seduced, disconnected from the Jewish people, forced to marry Arabs. They find them Somehow or other, I don't know this, these people are miracle workers, they're able to evacuate them, free them, and allow them to reconnect again. They unify them again to the Jewish people. And now, here we're coming to, well, uh, an, uh, another new Yad Lachim initiative, truly an exciting one. There are so many uh, young men and young women who for some peculiar reason, despite the fact that Chazal tells us that Hashem said 40 days, before they were even formed and created in their mother's womb, um, a heavenly voice said, this girl should marry this boy. But in our times, it just seems to be incredibly difficult to, to achieve that. So on the 16th of August, that's too bad, then we are, all of us, invited to join this initiative of Yad Lachim's and to say to him, to get all these singles who are not connected, not united, uh, connected and united again. I suppose that's the, it should be the motto of Yad Lachim, uh, unifying the disunified or connecting or reconnecting those who've been disconnected. And I want to tell you something I saw in Rib Shlom of Olva's Ali Shur. I, I thought it was the most exciting idea. We all know that our language, Loshna Kaddish, is unique. Um, there's many, many sources for this. But in uh, Ali Shur, Rav Shlomo Volva said something which really got me very excited. He says that one thing, or one way you can spot the uniqueness of our language is in one word, the word for life. We say when we drink a, a glass of wine or a glass of whiskey, l'chaim, to life. It's in the plural. Why isn't it l'chai, to life? In any other language, the word for life is in the singular, life. Why in our language? Why in Loshna Kaddish? Why in the Torah's language? Why in God's language is life defined, designated in the plural? And the answer is from God's point of view, from the Torah's point of view, from a Jewish point of view, if a life is not shared, if it's not joined to another life, then that's not life. That's not a Jewish life. And that joining can be a father and a mother to a child, child to her parents, grandparents, husband and wife, Hosan and Kala, Kahila, 
the whole of Klal Yisrael. And of course, the 15th of Av is just six days after Tisha B'Av, when we were all disconnected and fractured, and we forgot that a Jewish life is only a life, only a true life, a life worth living, if we're connected to others, whether it's our own children, our own families, or beyond our own families, into Kehillahs, into the whole of Klal Yisrael. And it's very easy, you know, to turn Tisha B'Av, the most solemn, most horrible day in the Jewish calendar, into the most jolly day of the Jewish calendar, which is Purim. Because in Purim we dress up and we wear costumes. You can do that in Tisha B'Av as well. We change our clothing. We don't wear leather shoes, we wear, we wear uh, sneakers, and we sit on the floor. It's very dramatic, it's very theatrical. In a sense, it can be just like Purim. And in a few days, before this wonderful initiative, we will have all done exactly that and said to Hashem, oh, it's terrible Tisha B'Av, when we were all fractured and disconnected and Jews didn't value each other. Now's a chance, through Yad Lachim's fantastic initiative, to show that we really mean what we say when we sit on that floor and mourn the loss of Yerushalayim and mourn the, lo mourn the loss of our base of Mikdash and realize that we were fractured and disconnected by connecting. And what better way than connecting the two people, those two individuals, those thousands of two individuals who a heavenly voice called out 40 days before they were even formed and said, this boy should marry this girl, this girl should marry this boy. What better way than join this wonderful thing of Yad Lachim and join all those links. It's a bit like that gold chain that uh, joined my father's watch to the medal that I gave so many years ago when I was 18 um, for the work of Yad Lachim. I think it's a wonderful way to connect. It's a wonderful way to show Hashem that we're serious. No, we take Tisha B'Av seriously. It wasn't a Purim. We can show that to you. Because in less than a week after Tisha B'Av, we are working at uniting, reconnecting Klal Yisrael. What could be better than that? What could be better than doing as I'm going to do? Blin Adder, and I'm sure you're going to do as well. Join Yad Lachim's initiative and reconnect to Hashem, reconnect to Cloud Stroll, and allow all the members of Cloud Stroll, especially the young singles, who seem to be so much struggling in this particular time, to connect to each other and build Cloud Stroll and build Jewish families. On Friday, August 16th, Tuba Av joined over half a million Jews from across the world uniting together for Shaduchim. To find out more about the special project, please visit tubaavtogether.com. At tubaavtogether.com, you can watch many more inspirational videos, download the Tehillim to be said on Tuba Av Together, and submit your names for tefillah for absolutely free. Please, share this video with friends and family, and let's make it Tuba Av Together.